Chapter on the Prophet's peace be upon him, avoidance of sin, his choosing the easier of permissible things, and his vengeance for the sake of Allah if his sacred limits were transgressed. It was narrated that Aisha, the wife of the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, was never given the choice between two things, but he would choose the easier of the two, so long as it was not a sin. If it was a sin, he would be the furthest of the people from it. And the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, never took revenge for his own sake, unless the sacred limits of Allah were transgressed. It was narrated from Urwa, from Aisha, a hadith similar to number 6045. A hadith like that of Malik, number 6045, was narrated from Ibn Shihab with this chain of narrators. It was narrated that Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, was never given the choice between two things, one of which was easier than the other, but he would choose the easier of the two, so long as it was not a sin. If it was a sin, he would be the furthest of the people from it. It was narrated from Hisham with this chain of narrators, a hadith similar to number 6048, as far as the words, the easier of the two, but he did not mention what comes after that. It was narrated that Aisha said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, never hit anyone with his hand, nor any woman or servant, except when fighting in jihad in the cause of Allah. And if he was offended in some way, he never took revenge for his own sake unless one of the sacred limits of Allah had been transgressed. Then he would take revenge for the sake of Allah. It was narrated from Hisham with this chain of narrators, a hadith similar to number 6050.